Hello everybody, it's Jocelyn here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is for all things Bring Back Paper. If that is new to you, pop over and join the Bring Back Paper Facebook group right now. Check the links below, check the hashtag, pop to my blog, which is theredinresidence.com. Be tons of information on that. And that's all I'm going to say on it. You can check it all out. Sign up to the newsletter, guys. I wanted to do today um, just a really short, sharp, useful hopefully video um, on just how to fill your notebooks. Um, I've spoken about my notebooks before, I've gone through my notebook collection before, this is just some of them that live in this little basket as you can see on one of my shelves. What I wanted to do today was just give you my top three ways um, to fill notebooks. Uh, there's plenty more, I've written blog posts on it, I've done other videos on it, there's plenty more, I'm sure you can think of hundreds you can think of hundreds, but you're still not filling them, are you? You've still got those beautiful notebooks on your shelf where you're thinking, oh, I'll use this one day. Right, so my first, I'm going straight in, guys. This is speedy today. My first one, um, which is why this one's on the top, um, because this one is one that I have just started with my daughter. Um, and this is a list journal. So if you've not done a list journal before, you can do this completely on your own. I actually have a book that's set up as a list journal as well. Um, and it's just, it's just fun. It's just like um, a little bit of a, I would say like a mindful activity, actually. A little break, a little fun. I, I tend to complete my lists in between doing various jobs at home. Um, and the, I, as I say, this one I'm actually doing with my daughter because another way that I love using journals, I've used in the past, is to do like parent-child journals. You pass them back and forth. Um, I did mention it to my son. He was not engaged. Uh, whereas my daughter was like, yes, I want to do that. So this we have started is a list journal. Uh, we put various titles of lists in there. So it might be something like top five destinations I really want to visit, top 10 authors I'm loving at the moment, um, top five songs I can't get enough of, whatever you want to do. You just write the name of your list um, and put a few list titles up there so that whenever you just feel like having a little break, you can fill them in. It's really fun if you use it as a parent-child one as well. I would also recommend parent-child journals. They're fabulous. Um, another one that I would suggest, I'm just vaguely going through notebooks in the basket uh is uh so my second top choice would be a bullet journal you know this i love my bullet journal um my bullet journal includes daily to do's monthly reviews and um, anything that i have coming up that i need to plan for this one which i would say definitely gets an uh, honorable mention as a top reason way to use a notebook would be a gratitude journal um again it doesn't have to be a separate journal setup this one as you can see is um, so it's got various little prompts in it, but you can use these kind of prompts anyway yourself. Um, and the reason that I'm mentioning this when I'm actually supposed to be talking about a bullet journal is because I tend to use my bullet journal and that includes my gratitude journaling. Um, so I will just be like, right, uh, three things that I'm really grateful for today. Or I might look back on the month and go, right, these were the things that I was really grateful for this month. But then you could do it as a sep an entirely separate journal. You don't have to have it like an actual thing like this um but the reason i'm opening these is to just give you some ideas of the sorts of things you could use if you wanted to use that type of journal and the third thing um which i'll just really quickly talk about i'm just gonna i'm just gonna squizzle through i know it's not a word but i've used it um this basket of of various notebooks i've even started in some of these see they're blank i need to follow my own advice and use more of these up um Right, third notebook that I would definitely recommend is a reading log. I've blogged about this before, I've talked about this before. I only started doing this. I'm a prolific reader, have been since I was little. And I only started doing this a few years ago when a friend of mine bought me a specific notebook that said, uh, book journal, um, I think it said rather than reading journal. Yeah, keep them book journal, something like that. Um, and it was a specific one. And I thought, oh, wow, why have I never done this before? So... I do now. I know some of you will use um, like digital logs anyway, like Goodreads and apps like that, that sort of thing. This one's beautiful, by the way. And it's floppy and soft. Might use this for my next list journal with my daughter. Um, but I absolutely love doing it. All I, all I do in it, because I'm not a huge fan of writing reviews, um, so I don't 
use other things. I also don't really love having to formulate my words in a coherent fashion after I've read something and sharing it. The only time I really tend to do that is for the, the Bring Back Paper book read along each month. And I pop back into the Facebook group and share my thoughts. Generally, I'm just left with my thoughts and I don't write them down. So my book, my, for me, my book journal is date, title of the book, person who wrote it, rating out of five. It's as simple as that. So it's basically a list of everything that I've read since I've been keeping this book journal now. Gosh, uh, probably six or seven years, I think my friend bought me the, the journal initially. Um, and I wish I'd done it my whole life. So start now. Starting now is better than never starting, isn't it, guys? And I love looking back on it. I can see how many books I've read in a year, which I've never bothered tracking before. I mean, it's not urgent that you do that, but I can do that. Um, I don't know. I think this is a well, this is an old bullet journal. Um, so I can see things like that. I can also go back and look at my favourites. So if I was to write a post then the following year, write these were my favourite books of the year, I can go back and see all my five, five ones. A little blogging journal. So those, yeah, so those are my top three ways to fill a notebook. If you're not doing them, do them. You want a list book. If you want to do it with someone in your family or friend, all, all the merrier. You don't need to. It's just a really nice mindful activity. So a list journal, uh, a bullet journal and a reading log. If you haven't got those and you have a million empty notebooks, I might be exaggerating, quite a few empty notebooks, do those. Go start those today. Um, there's plenty of other notebooks you could do. Um, I will link below uh, to a blog post I wrote with even more ideas. But those are my top three um, that I enjoy, that make me feel productive, that I like to keep. Let me know in comments down below your favourite ways of using your notebooks. And with that, I will leave you. Do give me a thumbs up if this has helped and do let me know if you're going to do it. Uh, see you next week, everyone. Bye.